Lizzie Bird, welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. In today's episode, we are moving on to World 6, and with it, we'll be checking out our final character we have yet to check out. This is the wrong button. Uh, here we go. We'll be checking out Nabbit, I believe. See, so yeah, we've checked out Mario, Luigi, Blue Toad, Yellow Toad, uh, Toadette, and now, finally, look at this, we have Nabbit. He is the easiest character, but actually has a weird set of caveats that we'll get into. I don't know if we'll be spending the entire episode playing as him as we move on to World, like I said, six, Rock Candy Mines. Uh, we will play him a little bit, but once we get into it, we'll talk about it a little bit. Here's Boom Boom hanging out on his tower as per usual, but there is a second tower. Wonder well, what's in there, I guess we'll have to find out, and along with it, the castle with Roy Koopa in it. So we're tackling the first level here, which is Rock Candy Mines 1. Let's get started. Nabbit is a weird one, because a lot of people think he's Bowser Jr. because of his little mask, just like Bowser Jr. has it around his neck. I don't think it's ever been confirmed or anybody really knows. So here's the thing about Bowser Jr., or not Bowser Jr., about Nabbit that you might notice is that he doesn't take any damage. And also, he's weird. <laughs> but he doesn't take any damage, but the, the, the thing is that he cannot ride Yoshi, which is a total shame and he can also not actually pick up any power-ups whatsoever. So while I did want to showcase him to some extent, I probably won't be playing him throughout the entire episode because there are literally uh, star coins and maybe even certain jumps that are not possible with Nabbit because you can't use the scroll suit or Yoshi to actually flutter up to certain jumps. So we'll try it for this first level and see what ends up happening, but I don't plan on playing much of this episode with Nabbit at all, because I do need to make progress in today's episode. But it can be nice, you know, if you have a level that you're particularly having a really hard time with, and you know, you just sort of want to get past, Nabbit can be a fantastic choice because of that, because you know, he doesn't get hit by any enemies. Of course, like we just saw a second ago, he does still um end up, like I can't even get this one. I don't think there will be any way I can get that. I will try to, but I don't think there's actually any way I can get that as Nabba. Yeah, it's not looking like it. So I already have to switch away from him. I'm sorry for major Nabbit fans, but I just can't. I just okay, I can't get these star coins without him. Uh, it gets very, very tough, and some of them are literally impossible. So for right now, we'll switch back to like Mario. Um, I've been wanting to play more of Mario, but he's a fun character. I would love to know more about Nabbit. It'd be cool if he started showing up in like Mario Party and stuff. That would be really cool. A lot of people think that, like I said, he's Bowser Jr. because if you look at Bowser Jr.'s scarf, it has that same like little mouth thing to it. So who knows if he actually is Bowser Jr. in disguise? That wouldn't make too much sense because Bowser Jr. is also an enemy in this game and he can play as Nabbit while going against Bowser Jr. Maybe it's like his long lost brother or something. I don't know. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on Nabbit as a playable character in this game and as a character in general. I mean, I think he's pretty cool. I think he'd fit in just fine with like the typical like Mario Party crew and maybe even like Mario Tennis or something. What's going on down this way? I mean, I guess I could have thrown a shell down there and that would have done something for us. I'm not too worried about it. See, so yeah, we'll be looking around for more star coins. We already got the first one, so that's a pretty good sign. This, these fuzzies are all over the place. If we get hit by them at you know a bad angle, we might have a problem because we'll lose our Yoshi and we don't want that happening. Let's pick up these and what do we get? We get a nice flower. I don't know if that's all mu that much better than what we currently have, but it's what we got. Now down here, I did notice there is certainly something, so let's flutter over. Where does this pipe lead? Hmm. I love the little extra drums that get added to songs when, when you're playing with Yoshi. Okay, got it. We're doing good, we're doing good. So that's star coin number two. Lots of risk there to falling to your doom, but we didn't, so that's always nice. We can get back up this way. I gotta say though, you know, I played this game, when I played it for the first time, I played it of course on the Wii U and I played it with the Wii U Pro Controller, and now that we've been playing with the Switch Pro Controller, I do really realize how much I prefer the Switch Pro Controller over the Wii U one. Not to say that it was bad, I just sort of like it better. I feel like it just has like more reliable like button placement and the way it, oh gosh, no wait, what happened? I don't know, that was weird. <laughs> We hit the side of that block and we fell to our doom. Am I gonna have to get that second star coin again? Probably. Did we even hit the halfway point? Yeah, we did. Dang, that stinks. All right, I'm back, I'm back. Let's try this again. There we go, gotta be careful. These blocks can be a bit tricky. But I just need to jump up like this, not mess up our flutter. It looks like I could probably get like a one up here. Yep, oh, that is so risky. I don't know why I even go for that. Like I have a much higher chance of losing a life. Oh my, this looks risky as well. Oh, I see what I do. Go ahead and give me another one of those. Thank you. I mean, I just spit it that way. Look at that chain combo. Isn't that cool? Ah, oh, that is so awesome. So go ahead and grab that. And we're good. We got all three star coins. We got ourselves a fire flower. I will 
gladly pick up. Just to make Mario a little bit more prepared for what might be ahead, whatever it could be. Oh gosh, lots of stuff going on here. I can't believe I survived that. Keep going, boom, we made it. Oh boy. Okay, so this World 7 have a secret exit. I mean, this first level in World 7, or World 6, actually. I don't know why I keep on thinking we're in World 7. And clearly we're not. That's the Cloud World. Okay, go for it, and we made it. Good job, Yoshi, that was a fun level. I wish we could have enjoyed it with Nabbit, but unfortunately we can't. That's fine. So with that done, we're gonna keep moving forward and see what else we got going on. Cause I don't know if there's really too many, so like, you know, last world had a lot of secret exits. This one seems to only have two. So it looks like now I got the switch, I can press that. And I know there's a little secret exit thing over this way that we've already unlocked with this thing. I don't know where it goes though. Like I could hop on that and sort of see where it brings me. I think we'll save that for later though. For right now, I could go to Rock Candy Mines too. Porky Puffer Falls. Let's hope this turns out okay. I hate the Porky Puffers. We've run into them a lot in our new Super Mario Bros. series. And I'm sure they haven't gotten any friendlier over time. Because I just don't seem to be that kind of guy. I think I'll leave, I was gonna say, I'm gonna think I'll just leave that cheap cheap alone and then I did not. All right, let's get to this. What is going on up this way? Oh, it's him. It's him. I don't like it. You ready for this, ready for this? Whoop. Yeah, get out of here. Now they always come back. It takes them a minute or two, but they always come back. And it is the worst. There we go, got rid of him. Anything going on up this way? Maybe? Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's actually how you get that. Too bad I messed it up. I mean, I guess it's not the only way you get that. Oh no, now we're in big trouble. Now we're in big trouble. He's just swimming around, he's trying to get me. Oh boy, leave me alone, you're such a bully. What did I ever do to you? He's like, your taste good, that's what you did. Okay, he's gonna go, I'm gonna throw this, and just gonna miss him. Totally whiffed it. Ah, get over here, be careful, be careful. So he's trying to get me. Look, I can't even imagine that, you know, Mario would taste all that much better than like the Koopas or the, the, the fi other fish, you know? Why does he want us so much? I mean, maybe he gets paid by Bowser, and that's just the long and short of it. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, I'm no way, no way, no way! Ah, oh, darn it. Couldn't quite reach. What about over here, is there any hidden walls or anything? Not looking like it. Watch out! Yeah! And throat. We're good. <laughs> So he's out of our hair for a couple of minutes. No, he's not, he's back already. You got a speedy return this time. Jeez. Okay, what's going on down here? There has to be something, right? No? Oh, you know what? I probably could have, let me try grabbing this shell. Perfect. It was actually really lucky. And star coin for us. So I can sneak under him. That's always good. And go, 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 go. Is this a, yes it is, perfect. Come on. Got him. That's all I wanted to worry about. So now I can actually explore down here rather freely and hopefully get ourselves an extra live here and there every once in a while. We earn up enough coins. <laughs> They're even cheering for us. Where in the world is this last one? Oh, he's back already. He comes back so quick. It's gotta be around here. I hear another one of those like little mystery power up things, which is always cool. I don't think it's over there with all these bricks. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it might be up here. Oh, maybe, just maybe. Let's try that again. Going across, jumping over here. Hold on, is there is there a wall here? Yes, there is, okay. And that's the most of that. Oh, almost got him. Oh, there it is, there it is. Okay, hold on. Get rid of you. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of stuff here. I'm a little confused. I'm pretty sure there's no secret exit. So what this is, is a bit of a mystery. Let's find out. There's no secret exit, right? Yeah, there's no secret exit at all. Oh, I see, so it's probably just a shortcut to that star coin. So let's earn up all of these. 99 and boom, 100, so there is 43 lives. Butt slam down this way, and as you can see, we did it. So can we get up back up that way? I'm a little curious. I mean, I'm sure we can. I don't know if it's worth doing. Oh, that's really the only way to get that star coin as well. So obviously, definitely worth doing. We can make our way out of here then. And is that it? I think 
So, uh, yeah, we made it. So 44 lives with Mario. Very good. Mario time. So now I think we're already good for our next tower out of two for this world. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it looks like it. So what I gotta do now is I have to make my way down this way and press the blue button and that'll activate this one path where we can run over here now and go to Rock Candy Mines Tower, grinding stone tower. Let's deal with it. Hopefully this will turn out well. It would have been cool if this one had both Resnor and Boom Boom to make it a little bit more varietous, but hey, I don't know what we'll find in the next tower. I mean, I wish it would go back to the Mario Bros. DS days, you know, where actually, you know, every boss was like totally original. I mean, I guess it was Bowser Jr. every tower, but you know, that's still like, you know, but then all the normal bosses weren't the Koopalings. They were just like Giant Goomba and PD Piranha, you know? That's always cool. There we go, got this dude. Just trying to be careful. This looks like it's gonna be a tough tower with all these rolling guys. Ooh, is that star coin number one? Oh, it's mini Mario, which I'm surely going to need, so I might wanna take it, but it sort of popped up at the worst. That's not fair. <laughs> that was not fair at all. I wonder if it would've bounced off the wall or not. I don't think it would've. I mean, I have no clue. Maybe I should've just waited to find out. That was very silly. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Okay, so let's try this again while there's none of those things popping around here. Run up this wall. And look at that, there's the mini pipe already. So, that might be all we need. I don't know if we'll need it. Oh, this guy's big. Gotta be careful. So what I gotta do is from this side, wait for him to go this way, fall down. Go, 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 go. We got it. Run up this wall, and we are good. Oh boy, that's scary. I don't know if we need any more mini Mario though, so maybe I should hold on to him? It might be worth our while. Ooh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, we survived that. I think I might have messed up though. I think I might have to go to the right there, but now I can't. Oh, that stinks. Did I just mess that up too? I don't know if it's worth getting the halfway point then. Hmm. That really stinks. That might have been the star coin right there, the second one. We'll keep looking around to find out. Okay, go across like that. And then there's definitely, oh boy, something up this way. Just more coins. This is getting me real nervous. Like, I think that. Knowing Mario games, I should probably hold on to this mini Mario for now and see what else we could possibly find. Oh, red coin thing, which would be nice. I mean, it's just gonna give me a one up. I'm almost positive. Seven and eight. There we go. Yep, just another one up. Got it. I am fairly nervous about the fact that I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a star coin there that I missed out on. There's another mushroom. Oh, oh, don't hit that. That was really close. Trying to look for more like little exits or secrets or anything. Oh, there we go. See, look, there is another mini Mario thing. So let me be careful here. Wait for that to spit that dude out and then we're just gonna go down and quickly. Oh boy, that's scary. What do we get, what do we get? Oh, this looks tough. Oh, these guys are moving quick. I don't like it. No, no, no. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't like that either. Keep jumping. Is this star coin number three? Ah, it's star coin number three. So I did miss out on it. Isn't that the worst? Man. So I gotta go and do this whole level again. Oh, is this a secret exit though? Oh, it is. So I had to do the level again. No big deal then. Not as worried about it now. Oh, and we get the 311 as the uh, finishing time. So we get an extra little item. It'll probably be a star though, so I'm not too excited. Hey, what's up? Uh, you got something for me? Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. It's gonna be a mushroom. Ah, oh, that stinks, because I don't have any mushrooms to put that over, so I'm gonna have to like downgrade something. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, for now, let's not worry about it. Where does that railroad lead? I guess over to an extra level, which is pretty cool. That looks like a fun one. But for right now, I got this mushroom. I guess I'll put it over a peach at crown, since I do have four of them. I'll just go ahead and do this. Discard this thing. And I'll make my way through that tower again, get the second star coin, and move on from there, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Okay, so all I gotta do is go over here, and star coin number two. Look at how easy that was. So now we should be able to storm through the rest of this level and sort of see what it's all about. Hope everything turns out okay. We got an ice right there. And I think I can go this way. Oh no, thought that was a little shortcut, but not quite. And is this where, oh gosh, I can't really quite remember. No, this was the uh, the red coins, gotcha. I mean, I'll grab these again, cause why not? You know, get an extra one up out of it. 
have almost 50 lives now, so that would be good. Got it. And what about in here, another one that I will leave for later, just in case I need it. But yeah, up here is where we were supposed to, you know, go into the mini Mario thing, which we did. So now that we've done that, we can just go up this way. And we were right there anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. Throw that guy out of the way. Get ourselves a fire flower. I'm curious to see if there's anything over here. There's not. All right, so let's go ahead and deal with Boom Boom. I can only hope it'll turn out okay. I mean, things have been going so far so good in today's episode. I mean, once we switched off a of Nabbit, which I'm sorry we had to do, but we really had to do it. I mean, Nabbit would definitely make an area like this easier, but he couldn't become mini Nabbit or anything, even though you're so cool, you know? Oh, well. So he is, oh, he has wings now. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I mean, that's a, both an upgrade and a downgrade. He doesn't have any hands. How's he gonna like, I don't know, eat soup? Okay, so it looks like he's going to like, try to soup down on us, depending on the direction he's facing. Like, like once he stops, we know he's swooping. Dang it, the angle is super weird though. Okay, let's try to, uh, I was gonna try to be ready for him. Oh, got him again, that was good. And then, there we go, very nice. Boom Boom's taken down, wings and all. And we got him, Mario's number one. So with that being done, we're not quite finished with World 6, we got lots more to go actually. This is probably gonna be a long episode, because there's just like a lot going on in this world. Because now that we've done that, we need to move to a level three, I think? Which could be any of these, really. Um, maybe this one? Yep, I will save. And let's try this one out. This is level three, Rocky Candy Mines three, Waddle Wings Nest. What's a Waddle Wing? I guess we'll find out. Could be a tricky thing to deal with. Uh, oh, there's chain jumps. I don't think they're waddle wings, but you never know. Oh, what's under here? Nothing? Hmm, that seems peculiar. Okay, for right now, I'll let this chain chomp do his thing so that I can ruin myself. There we go, and he's running. <laughs> I wanted to see what's down here. Oh, there's more, all right. Oh, cool, plenty more. I mean, not too much I really need, just more coins. I'm trying to just sort of avoid the chain chomps. I'm sure at some point or another, they'll help contribute to a star coin, so I will have to be aware of that. But for right now, we can go into this red pipe and see where this leads. Definitely somewhere. Ooh, is this like a puzzle? Hmm, yes it is. Luckily I can just jump back up. Not really too challenging of a puzzle then. <laughs> if there's like no risk of actually losing. Anyways, we got it. So, that is star coin number one, correct? I didn't mess that up? Yep, we're good. Thought so, because we were pretty early on in the level. It'd be weird if that was already star coin number two. Get across like that very nicely. And then I think the idea here, yep, is that he's supposed to be launching to the left. I do appreciate that in this game, it only takes one butt stomp to unleash a chain chomp instead of like three, like it has in, oh, come on! Previous new Super Mario Bros. games, that might actually really mess me up, unless there's a button to press. Okay, get out of here, Mr. Squirrel because I only have so much time to make this work, which means you bet I'm guaranteed to mess it up. Go, 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 go! Oh boy, that was close. No, there was more? Why was there more? Oh, you stinker. Oh no, and I grabbed those coins as well. I might have to redo that whole thing now. Yeah, the button's not even there. That stinks! It might not even be worth getting this uh, halfway checkpoint then. Like I might just wanna just avoid it. And I got it anyways, oh well. I'm gonna have to redo the whole level now though. I mean, I guess if I die, I can just sort of backtrack a little bit. It's not too bad. Nothing up there, okay. But that's really frustrating. So we got some really tough star coins in the game now. You just gotta be careful for them. So I should be able to dodge the squirrel this time. But you know what, I'm taking them down if I have the chance, because they've just been in the way too gosh darn much. Hold on, I'm not done up there. Nothing up there? If you say so, oh dude! I am so done with these darn squirrels. They are all up in my business, and I don't appreciate it. Ugh. See, this third star coin, really, really easy. I haven't got a problem. But if I grab this, we should be able to get at least some power-ups back here. That would be good. Got it. And we're good. So for this one, give me that Tanuki. Not Tanuki, oh my gosh, I'm always forever going to make that mistake. Just, it just, it's really easy to make, I guess. Hmm, so what's going on here? First off, let's get rid of you. Oh, don't hurt me. Oh, I don't know if they can hurt me when they're like that. What is this way, nothing? You're just sort of an opening to nowhere? Weird. And then this has to be the exit, right? 
Oh, it's supposed so? Alrighty, and go for it. We made it. Very cool. So I gotta play through the entire level again to get the, th the second star coin. But then after that, we're actually properly done this level. I don't know, this is gonna be a long episode. This is, there's just so many levels to this one. Cause there's two towers, a castle, and I think seven levels. I don't know if this is, I think they compensate with that by not making a special level, we'll find out. There's a baby Yoshi over there though, I'm really excited. But for right now, I gotta go back in. Okay, so let's not mess this up so much this time. I'm, if there's none of the squirrels in the way, like that was the problem before, is all the squirrels were in the way. There we go, we got it, and boom. Look at how easy that is. It's so easy. I just messed it up because the game is silly and there's a lot of squirrels. So let me get to the end now and we'll be good to move forward. All right, so star coin number three has been gotten, so let's move down here, which should be Rock Candy Mines number four. Indeed it is. Light Blocks, Dark Tower. Ooh, one of the dark levels. These can be challenging as well. So I wanna double check real fast. Which ones am I looking for secret exit wise? Level five and level, that's it. Unless I missed one, no, okay, it was because of the tower also had a secret exit. Got you. Ooh, the fire flower will definitely be helpful here. Um, ooh, what is this way though? Oh, I was hoping, I mean, this is very helpful, don't get me wrong. Hoping it was gonna be a golden Yoshi, because those guys are very, very helpful. But this lights up the whole room, and I can see for at least a limited amount of time, and then I grab this, and we get ourselves another star, so I gotta quickly not play badly. The jump's a little bit different. <laughs> gotta be honest, like, the jump is just ever so slightly different. There we go. Um, when you are in star mode. Because, like, you see how he sort of like jumps into like a little ball? Like, that's definitely a little weird. What about this one? Please let this one be another star. Indeed it is. Very good. I'm falling all over the place, so I gotta be quick. Come on. Come on. I had to go over here real fast right now. Got it. And what about this pipe? Gotta be something, right? Yes, it is. Hopefully that other one is also gonna be a star. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I actually might have to wait for the star power to end. Because if not, I'm gonna fall to my doom. I'm gonna fall right through them. So that's a little bit odd. This is gonna be scary. But let's go for it. Bounce off of you, bounce off of you, get the star coin. I could have gotten a one up if I wanted to jump off of all of them. I didn't mean to do that. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh well, gotta try that again. Okay, so I made it out of that all right. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't talk much because I was just focusing on it. Um, nothing else going on over here, so I think we're good to move forward. I don't think I'm gonna get the star power out of those blocks anymore, but I'll keep looking just to be sure. Okay, what's going on in here? Yeah, see, that's not a star. I think that would normally be a star, but it's not now. Ooh, this lights them all up, and there's bob bombs, which is never a good sign. Like, don't get me wrong, I think bob bombs are pretty cool. But they're always, whenever they show up in a Mario level, it means some difficult stuff is about to happen. And I'm not looking forward to whatever it is. I mean, at least when it comes to star coins. Oh, see? There's a bob bomb thing here. I need to have a bob bomb to get through this. Okay, there's another one here though, luckily. So I can grab him, go down this way, and just plop him down. Yeah, he did it, good job, good job. Usually those guys give me so many problems, so I'm glad we were able to figure that out. And there's something going on here. So let me try to dodge that guy, throw him down like that. And it was a one-up. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. Huh. Weird. There's no star coin there at all. Not expecting that. So let's go ahead and press this button and see where star coin number three is. Because I had thought it was gonna be up there. And I guess I had thought wrong. I mean, it could be up there. Hold on, can we light this back up? Thank you. No, this is definitely not it. But you know what it is? A way to take care of the hammer or the fire, bro. There has to be another way around here for the star coin. All right, boom, we get a fire flower again. Didn't quite need that. I wanna wait for this button and then we'll go up like this. Got it. Oh, I see it. You're protecting it? Not for long, buddy, that's mine. That is good, okay, so we got through this level. It was a bit of a challenge, but we made it work. Where are those bob bombs coming into? Well, I guess this is where they just spawn in to, to fall into the cave. Weird. All right, let's go for this. Boing, boom. There's another one up for us. Very, very nice. Core's clear. And now we can move on. So that was level what? Not six four, you know, five four. Uh, six four. So now we have to move on to 6-5. Yeah. 
which I guess would be up that little ladder, maybe? So first off, we can get Baby Yoshi, and then we go press the button, we can get something else there. Hi, Baby Yoshi, you're adorable. So let me press this button, and we can go and do the one-up hunt, and that might be a little bit more useful. Rock Candy Mines Mushroom Hunt. Get some one-ups. All right, so we're pretty familiar with this at this point. We just gotta collect all the one-ups that are coming in. Two, one, go! Okie doke, okie doke. Got it. Got it, didn't hit the Bowser there, which is good. Try to hit every one up and not hit a single Bowser. Dang it, I hit two of them there. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm the worst. I don't know if that one was even possible. That one was immediately undone. It's not really doing too well here, to be honest with you. No, come on! Got it, and ah, uh, yeah, I don't even know if I stayed positive there. And I missed both of them! <laughs> oh my gosh! How many did we get? Three, oh, that's okay, could have been worse. So with that done, we get 61 lives in total. And we can check all this stuff out. So Baby Yoshi, you're coming with me, and we're gonna get up this way. Uh, Rock Candy Mines 5, Walking Piranha Plants. Oh great, they were tough enough when they weren't walking, but now they are. So that's gonna be a bit of a problem. So, let's go ahead and grab Blue Yoshi. Blue Yoshi's a little bit different, he spits out the bubbles, which honestly, I don't know how helpful that will be for this level, because we can't hold on to those chains. So we might end up ditching him at some point, and I don't want to even think about that, but it is a possibility. So, sort of mess things up for me, myself here. I gotta be careful now. I had to really try to get that acorn. Come on, got it. Get that, I do not want the ice. I'd rather have this acorn suit. Oh, here we go. Let me go ahead and give that a, no, Baby Yoshi, I needed that. Okay, Baby Yoshi, can I trust you to stay right here because I need to do this a different way now. This doesn't work. Oh, great. <laughs> no, uh, uh, really? Well, I think that Baby Yoshi's gonna be gone now. That sort of stinks. I mean, he still should be in the level, right? I don't know. It'd be cool if he was. Let's try that again. Get back over there, but now I don't have the acorn anymore. I mean, if I get the mushroom from that one area, like if I don't grab it here, and then I go and get a mushroom over this way and then come back. Why'd I do that? Be careful, be careful. Because I think, maybe it was the one with the Koopa. Just throw that over there and get rid of all these dudes. Like, that'd be appreciated. There we go. And that's gonna bust through that. And for now, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna move it. And that's good, that's good. Because now I can definitely go under here, and then we can go back and secure the question block that'll definitely, if we don't get hit along the way. Um, oh, oh, no, oh, come on, really? It threw me too far. So I just decided this time to go ahead and use a power up that I already had waiting for me. Oh, be careful, be careful. Um, I just used a power up I already had waiting for me. I had the one mushroom in our inventory, so I just went ahead and did that so I could get this. Because I did it twice. I went over there, I tried to get the power up, and I died on the way back. Now if I remember correctly, this might be something. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. And I hear Mario getting higher and higher up. I suppose not, that is nothing. <laughs> good to know though, good to know. What about down here? Nothing? Guess not, no! Oh boy, don't fall. Don't fall unnecessarily. That'll just be awful and embarrassing. What about this one? One of these has to, there we go, gotta be a secret. One of these weird little openings. So, my expectation here is to what? Oh, I remember this. This one's weird. It's sort of weird because this like goes against the conventions of normal Mario gameplay. But what they expect you to do here is, wait, was this wrong? Oh, that was wrong. I swear that there was one where it almost loops around as if <laughs> it's like some weird like mirror world. Okay, I need to get that one up because I really want it. I didn't want to get this checkpoint, but I guess I will. Oh, uh, watch it, watch it, watch it. But yeah, I did that all wrong because I'm a dingus. I swear that that's how it was for one of them. We just get a lot of stuff. Like a whole bunch of stuff. Interesting. And was it up here? It was. So let's get back in there and actually get it this time. Because I swear that's how it was. Oh, I might not be able to get it anymore. Did I really mess it up, that up for myself? There it is, just gotta get that double jump in there. Because if you don't know, you can triple jump in this game, and if you do so, it does actually give you uh more, like you can double jump and triple jump, and each, the second and the third jump have a little bit slightly higher height to them. So, 
that can get you some extra stuff. So here's the third and final star coin. You do need a squirrel suit for this one. It is pretty simple beyond that. All you gotta do is jump and glide, and then got it. Perfect stuff. And then let's try to get rid of these guys without getting hit. Seems simple, but I have such an issue with it. I guess I'll just leave that. Maybe I can uh, utilize it later on. Ooh, can we get ourselves some one-ups here? No, we can't. Okay, just gotta be careful. I don't think there's a secret exit anywhere around here. Can I just get up here just for safety? There we go. Avoid that guy. Ooh, watch it, buddy. Personal boundaries, personal boundaries. Oh, come on, really? Okay, while we're invincible for a couple of seconds, we're getting hit, maybe I can do that. Okay, can these guys please leave me alone just for a second? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, I don't like this, I don't like this. Keep going, glide, we got it, yeah. Okay, so I think we should be good. Just trying to look around. What is this though? Maybe there is a secret exit. I don't really know. Oh, there is, this is, yeah, level five. I forgot about this one. <laughs> okay, we might as well get it done now if I have it right in front of my face. Got it, okay. There it is. <laughs> I totally forgot about this one. It's a pretty simple secret exit. We got an item out of it, which will just sort of fill our currently unused slot because I used that mushroom. So there we go. Six five completed with the secret exit. I gotta go through it again, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. I hope, thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. It is. Oh, nice, a nice flower. That's a little bit better than normal. So that is always good. And now, what do we got going on? What will that unlock? Not really entirely sure. It looks like another railroad heading to that. So that's not gonna help me with the blue switch, but for the red switch, you know, we got something going on. So I'm gonna hop back into this level, get the normal exit, and hopefully everything will turn out okay. Okay, so we're back here, and all I had to do was glide across like that, and there is the normal exit. Very close to one another, not really that big of a deal. I love his little his little flying thing he does when he completes the level with the with the, the squirrel suit. It's pretty cool. So this should unlock the path with the blue switch, which I'm guessing we're gonna need both of them sooner or later, so it's always good to have. But what's weird is like, what's the point of having this blue switch if I have a blue switch down here? Like, don't they all do the same thing? Yeah, they do. I mean, I guess with this one, I'm forced to go through and press the blue switch if I actually wanna move forward. I guess that is the trick. Anyways, now we have Rock Candy Mines Tower 2. It is Screw Top Tower, which I don't know if we're just gonna deal with Boom Boom again. There's nobody on the top of the tower, which is a bit uncommon. I don't know, I guess we'll figure it out. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and spin through this. And what do we got in here? We still have to do the other level, the one with the little roller coaster. Maybe we'll do that after this. I don't know what level that is out. Oh, look at this. These are fun platforms. These remind me of the original Mario Bros game, uh, the, the arcade one, where Mario and Luigi are running around taking care of like turtles and crabs and stuff. There we go. Got it. And I might want to grab a nice flower for this one. I love being able to spin around on these things though. They're a lot of fun. So what are we doing with this? Can I go in that pipe? I don't think I can. Hmm. It's a little bit of a weird area. Like a little bit of nothing over here for some reason. Huh. Okay, let's wait for this to come back. Because I just gotta be diligent. Gotta make sure that we find these star coins wherever they might be. So it wants me to go up here. All right, well that's no problem. Where does this bring me? Up here with some extra coins. That's always nice. Got him. <laughs> Another applause. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, oh wow, we got sumo bros. That's cool. And boom, that's nice, that's nice. I can't get him though. <laughs> He's sort of in a bad position for that. Oh, come on, that ruined it. Oh, how did that not get him? Okay, get rid of this dude. I'm sick of it now. That ruined my fun. Where in the world are the star coins? We're going to the halfway point now, and still not a single star coin, which is really concerning me. So like maybe up here? Ah, okay, well that hurt, and it didn't get me anything except for pain. Wow, okay, not good. Ooh, duck and cover under that one. I don't see anything over there, at least not yet. So go quickly, go quickly, whoa, that was close. Okay, be careful. Oh, come on, I was trying to duck there, but we're too busy spinning around. This guy's not too big of a worry. The only problem with them is you can't jump on their heads. Oh, there we go, that's a star coin. Is it star coin number one? Really? Another of those were a power up! Oh my gosh, this is a really tough level so far. I'm a little worried. 
All right, so let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, I thought so. I was thinking about it. I was, I was making my way back over here. I was like, you know what? That's probably it, and I just didn't think about it, and I was right. <laughs> so let's go through this, and this should definitely be the location of the Star Queen, I can only hope. Maybe? Let me bounce off of these things if I can. Oh boy, come on, get me up there. Oh gosh, can I knock it up there? I might have to do this the hard way, which is getting hit and then hitting the pal block, getting rid of all those guys. Yeah, okay, that's tough, that's a real tough one. I mean, maybe if I had like the, the suit, I could have maybe gotten up there a little bit easier, obviously, but I didn't, the uh, scroll suit. Now I have to be really careful, because I have no clue if we're gonna be able to make it until the halfway point, I can only hope, right? Okay, there's this thing coming on. Over, get him, perfect, keep moving, keep moving. Because do either of these have a power up? This one does, which is both good and bad because there's a guy blocking it. Okay, we're fine, keep going this way. Get this thing, oh boy. So we know where the second star coin is nice and easy, so the only mystery after that is finding the third one. We'll have to look very diligently for it, as well as I possibly can. Whoa, come on, how was I supposed to know you were there? That's sort of baloney. Okay, is there any way I can get this star coin maybe a bit easier? Like if I could just do that and then, mmm, that was close, that was close. Let's try to do that again. Because I'm just trying to find a way to avoid the little fire bar and that worked, so that's good. Got it. And neither of those have power ups. And then I'm just gonna get rid of you real fast. It doesn't look like there's anything over here. There we go, got him. I mean, so far, when I wasn't being a dingus, the start coins were quite obvious, so probably just need to pay attention. I don't know if I should just rush this. It's actually turning out pretty well, pretty well, pretty well! Go, go, go! Yeah, very good. Oh, I gotta get that over here. Never mind. <laughs> okay, keep going. Very nice. And what am I doing here? Oh gosh, I really hope there's not a star coin along any of those walls. Oh, come on again with you! Get out of here! So there has to be something around here, right? Oh, here we go. This could be something. Um, Maybe the star coin will be up here. Oh, I have a feeling it is nice, but we're still looking for a power up. That would be also very preferred. Yeah, fire flower. Okay, so now that we've gotten all of that, we should be good to go through here, but is it gonna be boom boom? What is this gonna be for the boss? I don't know. Oh, is it a sumo bro? Why couldn't we have more boss fights like this? This would have been so cool, you know? Just like anything shows up. A Koopa, a Goomba, even like, you know, the squirrel guys. Like, what if they show up, Kami goes his magic on them, they become a boss fight. Like, isn't that awesome? And they'll get a turn over and boop. Oh wait, hold on, let's do that again. Quickly before he electrocutes us. Oh gosh, hold on, hold on. Mm, get him. Oh, that's not it though, that's only part one. Then we gotta land on his tummy. He doesn't like that very much. He's big too, you gotta be careful. All right, no you don't. Oh, the, yes you do, apparently. Oh, come on. Didn't even get him. There it is. I can't get him from this angle. This is awkward, very awkward. Come on, oh, that's so not fair. I don't care what nobody says. Ah, okay. I can't get up from there. <laughs> no, come on, I hate the music blocks. There we go, see, that's a lot easier, because now I can just sort of shove myself in like, not like that, like, oh my gosh, come on! <laughs> it's super awkward. Okay, go in. Jeez, that is so tough. Come on, get back up, see what happens. You're gonna go over there? I gotta dodge those. Ooh. I don't know what he's saying. Uh, no, 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 no! It's really tough! This might be the toughest battle yet. All right, buddy, I know all your tricks. I know all your moves. I'm, all, I'm gonna go after you now, and we're gonna win. Maybe. Let's see if any fireballs will actually hurt him. Like, maybe if I could just get to a good position. Maybe that's all I need. Cause he, like, he's up here, and that hurts him. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, that worked, and you don't even have to land on his belly, which is the annoying part of the battle. Okay, like, that still hurts him, like, or still stuns Mario when he, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, keep going. Yeah, that makes it so much easier. Thank goodness for the fire flower. Wowie. <laughs> awesome stuff, so the sumo bro is down and along with it. You're all finished up, there we go. So, actually, we're not all finished up. We're finished up with this tower, which was a very difficult tower. So you can tell there's a lot of stuff going on here. But the thing I think we have to go, the thing we have to do first, I think. Like, let me check. We've already done up to level five and two towers. If we go over here and press this button, what is this? This is level seven, so I don't wanna do that one yet. 
I actually want to go back this way. Go all the way down. This has to be level six then, right? Only makes sense. So we'll go up and around. And here, this is level six, Rock, Rock Candy Mine Six, thrilling spine coaster. The spine coaster levels can be a lot of fun. Hopefully this is one of them, we'll have to wait and see. Oh boy, because sometimes it can be really tough too. What's with the mini Mario pipe right off the bat? That's weird. Wonder if there's like a mini Mario thing here. I am not sure, oh boy. I don't know how I like this, I'm a little scared. Okay, we're going down, we're going up. Going down, we got our first Star Coin already. I mean, there was only one Spine Coaster level in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, but it was one of my favorite levels of the game because it's a super cool idea. I mean, it was a tough one too. Oh, I missed it. All right, well, I'm definitely not getting these red coins. Gotta be careful though, he's gonna dive under the goop. You gotta follow the coins, which is hard to do when it's so dark. Okay, ready, 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 ready. Bop. Ooh, what is this? Got some coins. Is that it though? I guess so. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go hop back on top of him before something bad happens. Cause that might have ended up happening. All right, we're going up, we're going up. What is it gonna be, probably another fire flower? Oh, it's a star! I will gladly grab that if I can. Oh no. We still have to be careful of the goop though. The goop is still gonna be a one hit takedown as far as I understand. But this might help us dodge these guys. Uh, I bet you we could get a one up, there it is. That was pretty cool actually. <laughs> still looking for star coin number two! Yeah, there it is. Oh boy, jump for it. Just follow the coins. If we follow the coins, everything will turn out okay, I hope. Another star, maybe? You bet it is. Oh, better or for worse, we're going down. There we go, that was good. That was good. Oh boy. Keep my eyes peeled, oh no. Did I do that incorrectly? I have a feeling that there was supposed to be a star coin down there. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. There might have been a star coin down that way. I'm almost positive there is. It just feels like it, right? Like, look at the stuff down there. Like, that looks weird. I might have to redo this level. Which, if so, that'll be a total shame, but we're about to find out. What's going on with all this stuff down this way? Oh, wait, no, it's down there. Okay, this is probably not how I'm supposed to do this, but I guess I was supposed to get a star from somewhere. Oh, no, I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. I'm so gonna die. Whoa, weird. I guess I had to get the star. Right? Well, how other way would you do that? I don't know. But how could I finish the level soon enough with the star if it's a preset coaster? That makes no sense to me. I mean, maybe the mini Mario. I don't know though, because I have to I have to do, redo the whole level anyways. Oh, that's a pain in the butt. All right, so I think we're coming up on the star that I need. Now there's a star right before the pipe that we also need to get. I think that like what we need to do is there's a question block there, and we need to hit that question block. So when this gets going, we need to get up like this, and then we need to. Jump for it and then quickly, oh, there we go, we got it. Okay, that's very big. Now that we've done that, I think we'll be good. Because I've had to replay the level several times to get this figured out, it's been real tough. But we need to jump, get this one, that's another star for us, and then we can just quickly run over like this and we got it, star coin number three. Okay, very cool. I don't know where this is gonna bring me, but we might as well ride it. I think that at this point, oh boy, look at this. Oh, no, I missed a jump, oh well. <laughs> I don't need it, it's fine. As long as we get all three star coins, which we definitely did, then I'm good with whatever happens next. So now that we've done that level, we can go and do Rock Candy Mine 7. Where does this lead though? I don't really know. Like, does it have like an exit? It has to have an exit, right? I don't know. Yep, it just leads right there. So sort of a little bit of a shortcut through this area, but now that I've done that, I can press this button, we can move to the left, and we can get this right here. There's Rock Candy Mine 7, Shifting Floor Cave. Interesting. Okay, so for this one, I don't know what we're running into, but it looks like, of course, it's a cave, it's underground. I don't know why that has me a little stressed already. Well, let's go under and find out. What's weird is that this stuff doesn't even look like rock candy to me. Like, rock candy, is that Pop Rocks? Or is rock candy something else? Because I'm pretty sure rock candy, rock candy is Pop Rocks. Oh, this is interesting. All these different like poles shifting around. This could actually get quite difficult, so we do want to be careful. Oh boy, Ooh, that was close. That was really close. I don't know why I'm playing so risky right now. It's not paying off, as you can see. But there is indeed a star coin over that way. Okay, I do see how to get it. Ooh, don't get squished or anything. Yeah, I need to go down like this, grab it, and that's star coin number one. Now I do see some stuff going on over that way, I don't think it's gonna be anything, but let's try this out. First off, let's get whatever's in the question block. It is a fire flower, good. And is there anything up here? 
I don't think so. Didn't seem like it. Ooh, I was trying to get up there, it didn't quite work. The giant piranha plant is sort of spooking me here. We'll go ahead and get this. Got it. Excuse me there, dudes. Okay, <laughs> I always get afraid these are the ones that sort of plop down, but those are the guys with the sort of grayish shells. Ooh, I had a feeling. I had a feeling there might be something up here. Unfortunately, not a star coin. But at least that's one last place to check. Oh, this is a problem. Ooh, gotta be careful. Gotta be really careful. This is where we actually have to time our jumps. Which is a scary prospect when I'm not good at doing that. So I think I do have to go up this way. There's no secret exit for this level, as far as I remember, or as far as I saw from my list. And there's star coin number two. So that was correct. Whoa, watch it. I might actually need this bat's help. No, I'm good, I'm good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a lot of piranha plants. This one's really long. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So it's like one super long connected one. Ooh, and I do see that. Do we need a Koopa shell? Ooh, we need a Koopa shell. I'm pretty sure about that. So let's run backwards and see if I can't run into another Koopa. It'd really stink if they don't respawn another one. Like that does not be fair. There he is. So here's our Koopa friend. And I need to get rid of these two things. And then hop on you. And this is where we gotta be quick. Remember that the Koopa is still in the shell. And if he's given enough time, he will pop out of it. So jumping around like this will probably give us a little bit of extra speed. And then ready for it, now. Yeah, awesome. No, no, no! Oh, that's so unfair! I gotta do it all again! Okay, so I have this Koopa shell and we're just gonna be going at it again and hope that I don't mess up the jump this time. I mean, I could throw the shell, but like I do have a bit of a risk of messing it all up when I do that. Okay, so all we gotta do once again is wait for that to retract, but this is where things become problematic. Luckily, I can wait right here. But man, oh man, is that ridiculous. It's a tough star coin. Obviously, maybe it would be a little bit easier with a second player, or even just like a like a scroll suit, but not everybody has that, so. <laughs> Luckily, we're able to do it the way that it's intended, I suppose. And we're, I don't know what we're supposed to do there. Maybe there was a button somewhere I missed. I don't know, but we got it done. We got an extra item out of it as well, which is always cool, and we can move on. So at this rate, I don't know if there's anything else besides the castle. I'm pretty sure that's it. We'll have to go and check our list after this, like the you know, the in-game list. Because I'm pretty sure right now it's just gonna be the castle. Thanks a million for your help. There's no special level for this world. It's the only one so far that hasn't had one. I don't know if the next world will, but we'll find out when we get there. But for now, let us keep moving forward. What do we got going on now? So that's obviously gonna, ooh, go down there. Okay, and down here. I was a little worried for a second. And there's also a backdoor entrance to this castle, which is very interesting. So we'll check that, all that out in a moment. For right now, let's pause the game, go to our star coins, and yeah, all we're missing now is the castle. So let's go to it. It is Rock Candy Mines Castle, Roy's Conveyor Castle. Oh boy. <laughs> and then we'll check out that back entrance afterwards. Um, just to sort of, you know, check it out, see what it's about. Oh, actually, this could be a lot of fun. You know, these kind of castles can be an interesting ride at times. So yeah, I'm supposed to run across this guy, grab this star coin. So is there anything up there I can really access? There's some coins. All right, oh, and the one up. Pretty cool, actually, there we go. So now we're almost at 70 lives, that's pretty good. Nice. Very good, very good. And what's up here, just more coins. Just trying to check everything out, being as diligent as I can be. Let's get rid of this guy. <laughs> I don't trust him very much. And I don't think there's anything up there, but there might be something in one of these. So I'm gonna check these out as much as I can. If this one's just coins. But I can land back on this, I can duck and cover, hopefully. Yeah, we can fit. And what about up here? There's a pipe! Probably start coin number two then. Let's hope. Yep, oh, we're gonna be quick with this. We gotta be quick, we gotta be quick. They had something like that in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, I remember, but it was a lot more difficult. It was in the uh, the beach level, World 4 in that one. Maybe it was World 5? I think it was World 4. Um, And all the blocks were falling down. I need to be real quick with it. Okay, so I'm gonna throw that guy out of my hair. Just like that was pretty nice and easy. Let's grab some of these red coins. I don't know if I'm gonna exactly need it, but you know what? If I have the chance to take it, I might as well. So we already got two star coins before the halfway point. That at least leaves us with only a little bit to worry about, which is always good. Another ice flower. Whoa, hold on. Got it, and almost got it. <laughs> oh boy, so what do we do here? Oh, was that a mistake? Okay, that was just a one-up. 
I guess I have to, oh, come on. Press this button and all these blocks start falling. Was that a good thing? I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. Hmm, but there's the, huh. So where's star coin number three? Ooh, I don't know, I'm gonna go back. So it looks like these dry bones are like indefinitely falling, or maybe they're just respawning when I get over. It doesn't look like they're over here, but, oh no, 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 oh, whoops. <laughs> Where in the world is that third star coin? So I've been looking around for that third star coin and I do not see it. So I'm thinking that maybe it does actually have to do with that back entrance. Oh, maybe just maybe. So we'll look around with that one and hopefully we can find it. But for right now, I guess that means we have to get, that's weird then. If you wanna get all three star coins, you have to actually be able to get uh, Roy Koopa defeated twice. Very weird. Anyways, yep, we're going against Roy Koopa. One of the oddest of the Koopalings, if you ask me. There's nothing wrong with that. I just think he has some weird sunglasses. I like him. He's got some style to him. He stands out a little bit. Oh, and he's got the big cannon too. All right, let's try to get this dude. I don't know how easy it's gonna be. Might be a bit tough. Ooh, duck and cover under that. Oh, well, that was a bad, bad job. There we go, we got him. So let's see if we can't land back on top of him before he causes too much trouble. Because I think he's gonna pop out probably right around here. No, not yet. He's taking his time. He's really taking his time, there we go. So he tries to pop out in the center then, huh? So I'll be ready for that. Okay. Come on, probably this time? No. And this time? No. Oh, he didn't this time, but we got him! So once you get him in rolling around, he isn't too bad. So there we go, Roy Cooper defeated without it being too much of an issue whatsoever. Very good. Which means, like I said, that should f technically finish everything for World 7, but we'll be going around trying to figure out this little block puzzle so that we can get that final star coin. And hopefully that turns out okay. So he's gonna fly off, he's gonna crash somewhere as per usual, see ya. Boom, ah, uh, it was a little too soon. See, so where does that lead them? I think onto that railroad or something? No, it has a cloud over that way. So what that is, I guess we'll find out later, because I'm not too worried about it right now. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get up this way, press this blue button, go around like this, and I think I've gotten this right now. Just gotta press this red button, and we can just go the long way around. Look at how cool this is. Pretty awesome, right? And like I said, with this, we can go into the back of the castle, Roy's Conveyor Castle, the back entrance, and yeah, look at this, it's its own thing. Maybe there'll be like a secret power up. There's not. But this could be it. Whoa, that's a fast conveyor belt. I don't like that. So let's try to take this slow so I can figure out where in the world the star coin. Oh, it's right there. So this will unleash that, and then we only have a limited amount of time that I totally ruined. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoopsies. That is weird. Will it start me in the front or the back though? I have to walk all the way around. That'd be a total pain in the butt. Okay, thank goodness that's not the case. So I gotta be quick, but not too quick, or the block will just smack me down into the lava. <laughs> Do I have to refight Roy though? I probably do. I'd have to imagine I do. Oh gosh, get it, perfect. So let's try this again. Let that stuff fall. Oh no, oh my gosh. This It's tougher than it looks when everything falls at once. You sort of panic, you don't know where to stand. Ugh. Okay, so we gotta let all these blocks fall except for the very last one, which is right here. Go, 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 we got it. So there we go, there's star coin number three. Easy enough, right? <laughs> You would think so, but then I mess it up so often. Oh, can we duck under this? Oh, we can, just barely. So spooky. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and refight Roy Koopa, and then we'll be all done. All right, so there we go. We got it, and Mario is super excited because we got all the star coins and rock candy mines. And while we, that means we've made some good progress. Next episode, we're tackling World 7, and with what character? I might just chill out with Mario for the rest of the adventure. I've been having a lot of fun with him. Hopefully you guys have been too, and we've sort of kind of checked out every character. I'm sorry we didn't do more with Nabbit, but these levels are tough enough when I actually have the ability to get the star coins at all, and when I can't. So maybe we could play a little bit more of him in some other stuff, I really don't know. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. If you like this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Nabbit, so now you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.